It's Wednesday, September 17, 2014. Good morning, I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com. We'll have plenty of sun today to be a chilly start, though. Lots of sun to end the week, and will the weekend be warmer but rainy? Get all the details and much more starting right now. A chilly start for some of us this morning, especially in Youngstown, Ravenna, and Worcester, where temperatures started out in the lower 40s this morning. We're rising into the upper 40s and low 50s at this time of day, right around 9 o'clock this morning. And we'll see temperatures actually rise into the middle 60s today. Uh, parts of central Ohio started out in the upper 30s this morning, so very chilly there. And then this is not a rain shower. You're going to see pop up right there. This is actually some ground clutter this morning. So uh, we'll go ahead and ignore that. Uh, a couple locations this morning with some uh, lower visibility. Dover, New Philadelphia is at 6. You're at 5 in Worcester and uh, also 5 in uh, the Akron and Canton area right around Green. Everywhere else is pretty much above 7 to 8 miles. Along the lakeshore, it's very nice. Again, here's your temperatures right now. You're at 46 in Cleveland, 49 Lorraine, 47 Ashtabula, 45 at Youngstown is the cool spot right now. 45, uh, excuse me, 49 Ravenna, 51 in Akron and Canton, 47 in Worcester, and 50 in uh, Dover, New Philly, and Mansfield. As we look across the rest of the country this morning, we're tracking some showers and storms moving across parts of Missouri this morning. A couple of those were severe overnight. Uh, we're also looking at the uh, remnants of Odile affecting parts of uh, Arizona and New Mexico with very heavy rain, especially towards Phoenix and moving up towards Albuquerque as well. And also here's a, a front moving out uh, across the southeastern coast. Some storms just off the coast there. And that also extends out into parts of Florida and the Gulf Coast states. Otherwise, uh, just cool air beginning to filter. And you can see it coming out of Canada here this morning. If you're flying, going to Chicago, going to New York, nothing to worry about there. With uh, plenty of sun across much of the central and northern plains and the east coast. Our high yesterday was 64 degrees. That's pretty chilly for this time of year. The low 51. Our average high is 74. The record high today, 93. The record low, 39. Just a trace of rain yesterday. We're at 4 inches now for the month and just over 35 inches for the year. We're trending 2 inches above normal. And it's only mid-September. Sun rises at 7.08 a.m. and sunset is at 7.34 p.m. Our forecast for this wonderful Wednesday. Uh, plenty of sun to go around. It's going to be a little chilly though out there a high of only 66 we start out pretty chilly with uh, mainly sunny skies but chilly temperatures in the mid and upper 40s we saw that just a moment ago some places starting a little bit cooler than that we're up to 60 by 11 o'clock 66 by 2 p.m and we're at 64 at 5 p.m akron and canton not much of a difference here still cool still a chilly start in the mid and upper 40s with a high of 65 under mainly sunny skies still gonna be a pleasant fall day even though fall doesn't start until Monday. Overnight tonight, we're looking at clear skies across the area. It's going to be chilly out there with a light east wind. Uh, overall, the lows should drop into the upper 40s. However, outside of town in those rural location and valley areas, don't be surprised if you wake it up in the lower 40s. It could get quite chilly out there come Thursday morning. For the next seven days, plenty of sun for your Thursday with high pressure overhead. A little bit cooler, high of only 63. And then Thursday, we really get chilly. We're in the mid-40s, and I wouldn't be surprised if some locations woke up in the upper 30s by Friday morning. For a Friday, that high slides off to the east. That'll allow some warm air we get into the region. A high of 71 under mainly sunny skies. Look at this Saturday, almost 80. We'll actually be above normal for one day, it looks like, under partly sunny skies. But then a cold front comes in Saturday night and Sunday. Sunday, that's going to bring some showers and storms to the area. High of 74 on Sunday. Still yet to be determined if it's going to affect the Browns game is all. Stay tuned for the latest. Behind the front, more cool air, but high pressure does build in. That'll allow mainly sunny skies to build in with highs falling into the lower 60s. And we could get even cooler than that heading into the middle of next week. Make sure you keep it right here at NeilWeather.com for the latest.